we're going to talk about the future, which in Thai is Anakot. So I'm going to talk about Anakot to you today. Uh, it's really a great pleasure to be here. I work in a five-year time frame, and what I do is I work backwards from the future to today. So I help companies reinvent what they do down the road. Uh, what I don't do is this. I will not give you recipes or commandments. Right? I will not have something for you to do and just tick the box, okay? The future is created by yourself in your country and your situation is not created by me. Point number one, we're entering an age of unprecedented opportunities, in my view. We're going from linear thinking to lateral thinking. And there's so much potential in this. Okay. It's about looking at not the industry but the arena, a much wider view of things. If you're in the telecom business, you're in the media business, you're in the trust business, you're in the education business, you're in the, you're the content business, right? you're in the device business. Okay, we have amazing technology and it's getting more amazing by the minute. In fact, technology is now so amazing that many of us are addicted to it. I mean, basically, uh, what was the number I read the other day? 47% uh, of American, American kids, when they wake up at night, update their Facebook status. I mean, it's mind-boggling how addicted we are to technology. So, amazing technology must be balanced with ethics and standards. Otherwise, we have unintended consequences. Imagine a nuclear power plant and its unintended consequences. Same thing. There needs to be a mechanism for this. Privacy and, tr and trust failure is the biggest hurdle. I mean, if you look at machine to machine, the Internet of Things, big data, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, will we do this? If we don't have some form of privacy left, we won't. Interdependence is inevitable. We are now in a, entering a future where it's about, dis about connected business models, right? not about ego systems, but about ecosystems. But at the same time, it is also important to be sovereign to be in charge of my own destiny. This is going to be very important for Europe, I think, for our future. I think the internet needs to be governed by an international body representing all interest sectors and agenda. That sounds like mission impossible, obviously, but I think that's where we're going. Whatever that means, I'll leave that for you to discuss. But without that, I think we're heading in one direction and no other. The final point, big data should not be another big oil. You know where big oil has brought us, right? to the fact that in 10 years we'll probably have more tsunamis a week than we have in the last 10 years and every year. You may not believe this, but ultimately what's happening with data is the value of data is worth more than the value of fossil fuels. And that will all happen in the next five years. Finally, I want to leave you with a quote. I don't know who's, whose quote it is. I found it on the internet like I find everything. But if Henry Ford had asked people what they wanted, they would have said, faster horses. You can ask your customers what they want and you'll get an answer. And that's also a good thing to do, of course. But really, leadership is about going beyond the obvious. And you here, of course, most of you are leaders in your turf. We have to go beyond the obvious. If, if uh, Jeff Bezos had, would have asked people if they want a Kindle e-reader, people would have said, what are you talking about? What is that? We don't know what it is. He invented it. He made a market. So go one step beyond the obvious. I'll leave you that thought. Thanks very much for listening.